the church and I thank God for her. She's a, she's a very important person to me in the church and I would like for her to just stand up if she has something to say, but just stand up. I want her to see. Praise God. My, my secretary, and I appreciate her. And my daughter back there, Teresa, stand up and let them see you. If you have a testimony, you say can say something. Praise the Lord. How many have y'all ever seen a Papaw's girl? I want y'all to see a Papaw's girl tonight. Praise the Lord. Just stand up, honey. You don't have to say nothing. But that is what a Papaw's girl looks like. And I thank God for her. Praise the Lord. I would like to say something if it would be permitted, just for a few minutes. But we're having Passover and a segment supper and I definitely believe in it. I believe that God's in it. Praise for I know the devil wants to try to try to do away with it. But you know as long as God's people stand to the word, it will happen. Can you say amen? amen. I think I said something to Brother Keener about this that I had a vision years ago about the cross. And and in this dream uh, Jesus was hanging on the cross and I was down at the base of the cross, bent over, worshiping him as he was on the cross. And as I was bent over, the Spirit of the Lord was elevating me up. And I went from his toes to his feet and to his legs and to his all the way up. And you know, church, there was not one ounce. You could not take a pen and touch his flesh without going through the blood. Mm. Right. The Bible says he was like a lamb led to the slaughter. He had been beaten and whipped. Not one ounce. And my face and his face was that close. And I said, God, is there anything? Is there anything that I can do to worship you? I do order the Lord today, and I have thought many, many times. I said, God, what word, what word in my vocabulary that I can use to praise you to the highest? And the Lord let me know. He said, there's no word that you can bring forth, but only in the Spirit. When you're in that sweet Holy Ghost, and when that Holy Ghost comes down, praise God, and your tongue is loose, and you're praising God to the top of your voice, you don't care who's around or what people are thinking, praise God, you're in the presence of the Almighty God. to sing this song and I want y'all to play as pretty as you can to make me sound good. Can you do that? Praise God. I want you to play. Y'all boys do good now. <coughs> Praise God. Good to see y'all here. Appreciate the pastor. Come here, pastor. <coughs> you, you know what, church, can I say this? Do you know your blessings come through this man? That's right. Yeah. You want a better car? Better home? Praise God. It comes to this man right here. Right? You can't even get saved without this man. That's right. Do you know that, church? You got to hear the word. Woo, glory. Mm. Hallelujah. And when that word is all forth, oh, glory to God. It is through that anointing power, praise God, that convicts people, and it's going to be done through the preacher. I appreciate the Lord tonight. Praise God. It's good to see Brother Keener here and his wife. Uh, Brother Keener and his wife is just people that you just have to learn to love. Can you say amen? He, uh, when I was up there with him, uh, he done stuff that I didn't even think about doing. He was out on the road and he said, my wife might want something. And uh, 
So he gives her a phone call. And just in case he would forget anything, he was wanting to be sure <laughs> that he pleased his wife. Amen. And you know, I respect a man yeah. that loves his wife. Come on. Praise the Lord. Give me Chief Roy. Mm, I think it's Chief Roy. Mm -hmm. Do you know who Jesus is? The man from Galilee. He calls the lame to walk again and the blind to see. Thank God because God is God. And this one thing I will say before.